What up YouTube? I'm Mr. Mac. Welcome back to the Mac Shack for episode 22 of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. We are here in Mahogany Town and we have done a little bit of training, a little bit of grinding since our last episode. So let's take a look at the team. We have Nocturne, the level 40 Cacturn, Bread, the level 41 Slacking, Star, the level 42 Staravia, Turbo, the level 40 Exploud, Illuminate, the level 47 MVP Lantern, and we have hatched our little egg that we got from Riley, named it Riley after him, and we have the level 32 Riolu right here, ready to go. So, last time, Lance met us at the Lake of Rage, and he asked us to come here. Because this boy is going to hyperbeam an actual person. What took you so long? Yeah, my bad. I did a bit of a tour of the, the grounds. Uh, did some training, that sort of thing. Sorry, Lance. The stairs are right here. Mac, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. I don't even know if that's his name or not. Anyway, that's his voice or not. <laughs> He's probably going to wipe my entire team out when we get to him. Okay, so Team Rocket, folks. Um, probably going to come battle us. I think they only have one Pokemon, so if we put Bread out in front, we should be able to deal with him fairly quickly. Yeah. Alright. Intruder alert. We got this. So, the first thing we need to do is find that alarm to turn it off. Oh, they've got three mods? That's rough. Level 37, okay. So, we've got... Riley holding the experience share, which should help it get some levels. Um, I don't know how much it's going to help her actually like us and want to evolve, but, you know, we can't unfortunately have everything that we want. Now, good news is we planned this in advance because we gave Turbo Strength, which in this special Drayano hack is a rock type move. So we'd be throwing some rocks at this Golbat. Uh, and it's going to help us... Ooh. That's just rude. Come on, Turbo, let's go. Let's uh, have a look at what else this Golbat's going to do to us. That's a little bit more dangerous now. Okay, let's go. We're going to get a Quick Claw. Are we going to wake up? The Quick Claw! is working for us. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Brilliant. Alright. Oh, now we're confused. Alright, come on. Let's go, Turbo. Break through this confusion. Get the job done. You can do it. Why do I have belief in my Pokemon? Why do I trust them so much? Come on, Quick Claw. Let's do it. Yes. Let's go. All right. Turbo, taking Golbat to the cleaners. Relatively slowly, but you know, we're getting the job done. Prime right, Yeah, we're gonna switch. We're going out to Star for this one. We should be one area less away from finishing this battle off. There we go. That's all we need. Alright. We keep on moving. Getting that W. I don't know whether they just send one or they send two. They send two. There's no escape, apparently. Oh boy. I hope we don't have to do very many of these because it's going to get fairly tedious fairly quickly, if that is the case. Uh, this Raticate's definitely going down after one turn then. That did a lot. That did so much damage. But, I mean, Bread did more, so... That's good. Yeah, Mark, alright. Um... 
we don't really have a whole lot to deal with that. So we're going to push the MVP button, uh, that big red illuminate button. And we're going to hit it with a surf. Eight levels higher. Stab. Shadow Punch is a new one. Haven't seen that move before. Wasn't even sure that it existed, but there, there it is. Illuminate, getting the job done for us again. This is why she's the MVP. Riley hitting level 33. We just keep rolling on. Oh, we just keep appearing to you, trip a secret switch. I was just talking about this maybe not ever happening. So I took Riley for a haircut between episodes and maybe that's why. Oh yes. Let's go. Riley evolves into Lucario. Do we get any new moves? Swords dance. I think we've got to give it an opportunity, don't we really? Uh, I think we're going to leave um, Foresight. I really don't want us getting hit hard enough to have to have to resort to counter. So, you know, we've got we've got plays now. We've got plays. All right. So I think we can sneak down here, and then we can sneak down here. And then we can sneak down here. And then we're going to get to a point where we can use an item. Because we want to heal up before we go into this battle. Definitely. Uh, so we'll give that super potion to Bread. And I think we'll give a super potion to Turbo as well. Alright. We're doing okay here. Healing wise we're doing okay as well. Well, just uh, push that switch, turn the surveillance system off. <laughs> Didn't even need to battle him, who would have thought? I'm going to do it anyway, because I want the item. Um, Scientist Greg and your Magnemite. Alright, let's go. Take it down, bread. One slash is all we need. Let's go. Maybe we could call him Sliced Bread, because that's all he does is cut up the other Pokemon. Uh, we're going to switch for this Porygon, and we're going to send in... Let's send in Nocturne. Get some get some screen time for Nocturne. He's got his hands up, but she's got her hands up for the victory. Looks like she's playing defense in basketball. Uh, we're going to go with a Faint Attack here. And actually, yeah, that's... Porygon's a normal type. What am I doing? Oh, well. It's not gonna matter. Can't hit me with any psychic type moves anyway, because I'm a dark type, so we're all G there. I'll just get the two hit KO with the crit. Alright, that's good. That's good. Magneton. Yeah, okay. Um... I, I don't want to risk Riley just yet, because it's like Magneton's going to be level 38 or 39, Riley's not quite there. If we were close, if we were within a couple of levels, 37, that's still four levels. If we were a bit closer, like if we were level 37, I would have gone for it, definitely. Um, but I don't want to go for it now, because... I've put too much effort into... Yeah, we're going to loaf. Like a good loaf of bread. I really don't want to lose Riley. Um, now that we've finally brought some diversity back to the team, we've got away from having a full squad of normal types. Um, Alright. Thanks, mate. Just going to grab that guard spec there. All the Persian statues have gone blue, so we know that they're all off. I could get an encounter here, actually. 
handy little hyper potion. Um, we're probably going to do that, to be honest. Nugget, okay. I like this. I like this a lot. This disabling the security system. Now, let's put... Let's put Nocturne out the, out the front. And we'll see what happens when we step on here. Yeah, that was scary. Oh, maybe they're all just going to be Voltorbs. Well, this is our encounter, so we might as well make the most of it. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully they're not going to go like go crazy and try and blow us up. Because um, that would be very annoying. Okay. I almost hit fight again. Pokeballs. We should be able to put this in a Great Ball, surely. It's a Voltorb. I mean, come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Great stuff, great stuff. Voltorb was cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, there's really only one thing that we can call this, isn't there? Um, yes, we're going to give a nickname. We're going to call it... And this time it's going to be in all caps, because it's ORB. And we're probably never going to use it. Alright, we turn around. We're going to drop a potion on Nocturne. And we're going to drop a super potion on Bread. And we're going to put Bread back out in front. Let's go deeper into the rocket base. Hey, it's Lance. What up, fam? Yep. I just healed Lance. Come on, mate. You gotta do me better than that. Um, let's roll this way. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, the door won't open. It needs a password. Hmm. I didn't even know the door wouldn't open. Lance just sort of disappeared. Let's see if we can take out this Kingler in one hit, hey? Yeah, we got it. Ooh. That's not fun. 60. Alright, so we're going to loaf here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a super push. And we're just going to play that to protect ourselves from the crit because a double or two times crit would actually kill us from that range, which is scary. He's going to protect on the turn that we loathe, and then we're going to use slash again because that's all we can use being choiced into it. Bread gets the job done, and bread gets the level up. But look at those stats though 167 attack. That's amazing. Uh, Shellgong. Right, Dragon type. We really don't have a lot right now to deal with Dragon type, so we're going to put in the MVP. And we're going to go for a tasty little surf here. I probably could use an ice move on someone somewhere. It's not very effective. It's interesting. Right. Your attacks aren't going to do squat to me, buddy. I am a thick girl. Lol. Illuminate MVP. Let's go. Riley picking up another level there, which is fantastic. Alright, we're going to keep on keeping on. Tell me more about these passwords. Oh, you don't know them. Okay. What does this person have to say for themselves here? Nothing, they just want to battle. Okay. I'm surprised that Lance didn't take them out when they went through here, when he went through here just before, but... Okay. Jezebel. Oh well, we'll get our redemption. Good bread. Just 
one slice at a time. Venomoth, we are swapping out there. We're going to go into Turbo. Uh, we're going to hit it with a tasty strength here. Chuck that rock at it. I feel like um, Turbo is just like Chuck from the original games when he's coming out and doing this. Just like, hoo Throwing those rocks, gigantic boulders on top of it. Not bad, not bad. All right. Um, possibly we're gonna get Bat Pass. Interesting. Into a Dust Ox. Well, I should have gone for another Strength. Either way, we got the W here. So we'll get that done. Lovely. Good work, Turbo. And because we know that Venomoth is faster than Turbo and we don't want to get put to sleep, we're going to go out to Star to finish the job here. And Star, I think... Yeah, we better play it safe and use an Aerial Ace just to make sure we get the job done. As opposed to a Quick Attack which may not get across the line. Alright, Star picking up 500 experience, almost getting to the next level. You can't help me either. Where's the boss's room? Who knows? Yep. Typical Team Rocket grunts, not being very helpful at all. Oh, Lance is back. What up, fam? In order to unlock the door to the radio transmitter, you need the voice of a certain person. the password to their leader's office first. I love the fact that he just walks past that bloke. Um, who's probably going to battle me shortly. Um, I could go up there. What does this guy have to say? Oh, well. Never mind. Ooh, two passwords for the leader's office. Ooh, I just got sniped. But, sniped by the exact person that I need to get a password from. So that's positive. Alright. Ooh, that is a tough radicate. It's going to outspeed us. No. That's interesting. Maybe it's going for a delay move. Not that it matters, because now it's dead. Yeah, we're going to swap out. We're going to go into Nocturne for this. And Nocturne is going to get a huge um, needle arm off. That shouldn't do too much. That did way more than it should have, I feel like. That's astounding. Alright. We're getting out. We are we are in dip central and bread's coming out again. Ooh, get the dodge going, bread. We'll chuck a faint attack on because we really don't need a slash here. Yeah. Love your work, bread. Eradicate tail. Thank you. You don't have both passwords, nothing's gonna work. We get an X special. And we're gonna come the other side of these little plants and get ourselves a dubious disc. I believe that will let us go from Porygon 2 to Porygon Z. Regardless, we're gonna need to use a super potion here on Nocturne. Wonderful. We are almost out of those potions too. Alright, this guy doesn't care, so he's pretty useless to us. He's only got one Pokemon though. I reckon... Ooh. No, we should be okay. We should get it done. First turn. Yes, before the transform. What a dream. See you later, ditto. Mm-hmm. That's what you get when you mess with bread. 
to get sliced. Thinking is your strong suit, not battling. Well, I'm going to respectfully disagree. I think that's our second password there. Um, the the uh, purple-haired rocket grunt, just at that computer. So let's go take care of that. Yeah, see? She knows the password. Alright, this bloom is not going to be hanging around for too long, I don't think. We're going to put it away with one slash. Easy as sliced bread. <laughs> Cloister. Yeah, you know what this means. You know what that means. Hashtag Illuminate MVP. Hit it with a discharge. Ooh, protect. Well, well, well. Someone's trying to have a bit of a scout. It's not going to help you. We outspeed. We get the super effective hit. We get the kill. Thank you very much, Illuminate. Slowpoke tail, eradicate tail. Ooh, silk. You want to try and punish me, boy? You got another thing coming. It's. Ooh. You got four mon. How dare you? Something here is going to explode on me. I can almost. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Something here is coming for me. Not sure if I like this much. So we're gonna go out to Illuminate. Because Illuminate has got macho defense, amazing HP, and may even just get the kill with Surf here. In an ideal world, that's what we're doing. Okay, that's alright. The sludge isn't a self-destruct. So we, we fine, we fine here. We get that surf and we get that kill. Tick, hashtag illuminate MVP. All over it. All over it. Electrode. All right, so this is where it gets, a, well, not really, because we just send bread out. And bread can get a slash off. And then we all G. Nothing to worry about. We might even get a crit. It should do too much. Good. It's going to do more every time, though, if we don't get finish the job here. But ever reliable. Ooh. That's sneaky. That's sneaky aftermath. Porygon 2, we're going into Nocturne for this. And Nocturne's going to take care of it with a couple of faint attacks. And that's not a faint attack, that's actually a move called Needle Arm. You'll recognise it as a grass type because it's got a green icon around it. I'm not sure why you actually selected that, to be honest. That's the button you meant to push. That's going to be super effective. didn't have to happen. We had so many options. I literally just had to click the right button and we would have been fine. But no, instead you just get overconfident, you get too clever and you boom and lose yourself. Come on. I actually don't think dark type attacks were super effective there anyway. I think Paragon 2 is still a normal type. 
Okay, that... That is not good. Can we switch him? Um... Ugh. Yeah? Brett's gonna live this. We should be faster. Okay. I just really worried that we would, um, the next turn we'd try to attack, we would be loafing around, and we don't really want that. Man, I was so excited to be using Nocturne as well, getting a little bit of balance in the squad. Um, right, so. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do a quick trip back topside um, and leave Lance down here because we, uh, we stuffed up. We stuffed up pretty big time, to be completely honest. Um, and that's not a good thing. <sighs> Darn it. Let's just take the Raven. Hmm. I was so excited. I've got a little column of grass type Pokemon there. Boom, boom, boom. All dead. And now what have I got? What have I got to look forward to? Well, I suppose really, we may as well bring Tamatola along with us. Um, because we can. Like, that's, that's, I suppose, the only reason. Uh, <laughs> just round out the team, give us some more options. Um, and the Ice Fang, obviously, is going to be handy against if we if we go across any Dragon types. Now, yep, we've still got the security system turned off, which is nice. So, we're going to just cruise back to where we were. Alright, so, do you know what would have been really smart when we were out there? Mm. Yep, would have been smart to actually use the Pokemon Center that we went to, because that would have saved us from doing this right now. Um, although maybe Lance is going to heal us. Oh boy, that's an oofy. That is a big oofy. We're going to... Um, <laughs> Looks like that's the end of our episode, folks. Um, this does sometimes happen with the game. It should be fine. I will just reset the ROM. But um, yeah, we are in a world of darkness right now. We're going to be back very, uh, very soon. So thank you so much for watching. I will actually go and heal my Pokemon properly at the Pokemon Center in between episodes. And when we come back, we will continue infiltrating the Rocket Base. Thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you soon.